Hello and welcome to the lecture creating gradient. So in this lecture, I'm going to tell you how to create gradient like this. See here the bright red color inside and then it is coming like a white color circles. So this is like a gradient. So in canvas, it is known as radial gradient. Okay. So we can create this with canvas and JavaScript. So let's create it. So here I'll write the one variable for gradient and for that what I need to do I'll call the context dot and I'll be creating a radial gradient so I'll give radial gradient so this radial gradient method or function what it takes it takes six arguments the first one is the starting axis a coordinate for the inner circle okay so i'll give 150 150 and 50 so 50 is x y and radius of the circle and then it will ask for the second one so i'll give the starting point for both the circle as same so i'll give 150 150 and here i'll give 100 so ending circle radius will be 100 and starting inner circle radius will be 50 and the starting point coordinates are same 150 150 okay so this is the create radial gradient function or method which takes this argument the next thing what we need to do we need to use this gradient to add color stop so what is color stop color stop is to add or remove the color so we want to create gradient with the color so we can add colors with this so i'll add red or whatever color you want to give so we can add two colors here so gd dot add stop and i'll be giving sorry it should be color stop okay and here i'll be giving one comma let's say white so here i'm going to create a gradient with red and white color okay the fading will be the uh, white one and the more will be red okay and then the next thing is context dot fill style to tell the context that we need to use this gradient for styling so we have created this gradient and we have added the color stop and we have given this coordinates to create the two circles and now we are telling the context that we need to use this gradient for styling the next thing will be the context dot fill rect so we need to fill the canvas so we need to use the fill rect function to tell that we need to fill this canvas with this style so we'll start from 0 0 x and y x 0 y 0 and then we need to cover up whole canvas so 300 300 so we'll start it means we want to fill all the canvas whole of the canvas we want to fill with this gradient so let's see how it is looking on the okay let me refresh this see here it is coming like this the inner circle red and then it is fading towards white so this way we can create a color gradient in canvas so let's modify a little bit what i do i'll make it 200 and see see now it is coming like this so this way we can create a gradient so let me modify more so what i do i'll remove this i'll make this one red one and white zeros to see the change see here now white is more and red is fading okay so i'll move to one and zero and here what i do i'll make it 200 and I'll make it 100 to see the changes see here now it is coming like this or I'll make it 50 see here so this way whatever gradient or what type of gradient you want you can create okay so we can change the this thing also we can change 250 and see what is happening see here it is coming in a different way 
so you can based on your requirement or based on your imagination you can keep changing the coordinates and you can see the different illustrations or different kinds of gradient forming up for you so see here suppose i want to i will make it like uh, 50 comma 150 and see see like it's coming like this or 150 or uh, 250 and i'll make it 50 250 let's see see it is coming like this and suppose i'll make it 150 150 and see it is coming like this so based on your requirement you can keep adding see it is coming like this suppose i will make it 100 and make it 10 see see here it is coming like this so based on your requirement you can keep changing the coordinates keep changing the values and you can find what you want or what kind of gradient or animation or graphics you want to create you can use this function create radial gradient to create more variation of this gradient okay so it's up to your imagination how you want to create things and you can use these functions and changing coordinates and you can come up with something great